Yeah, are you ready to cook? I'm hungry. I said, are you ready to cook? I'm hungry. <laughs> so what are we making? All right. So, well, actually, this was one of the dishes. This roasted beet ceviche, a beet salad, mm. is one of the dishes. We did a cool comedy in New York this last year. Really? Yeah. OK, tell me what to do, and I'm sure I can do it. So have you cook beets at home, don't you? I have. It's one of the joys of my life. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I like beets. Yeah. And I, and I, and I cooked a beet before. <laughs> so we, take, we took these beets, and we wrapped them in aluminum foil mm -hmm. and roasted them. That's what I did. Is that what you did? I did. I don't believe it, but OK, I'll try to forget. All right. Can you can't picture Queen Latifah coming home from a long day's work and throwing some beets in the oven? Yeah. Really, I can't, but OK. And then do you cook, do you cook the beet greens? N I did not cook okay, the beet so greens. OK, so beet greens, mm -hmm. don't forget this. They're like my favorite part. I just snip those off, drop them in boiling water. Here, want to taste something? They're fantastic. I dose, I put a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper on there. I didn't on those, but olive oil, well, salt, and pepper. Well, Aren't those great? Yeah, we can hook that up. Those small. Oh, these are really good. Actually. Aren't they good? Yeah, I'm you surprised. could put them in here too if you want. We need to cut them up or anything. Well, you could, but we don't have a knife. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> all right, you can no, rip them knife. up. Here, you can rip them up. Okay, so like this. Here, you do that. All right, I'll do that. Okay, do that. So this is roasted golden and roasted red beets, right? Those beautiful beets. We're going to take all this stuff's going in here, right? Okay. Chopped red onions. Uh -huh. We're going to throw Is that how you chop? Mm, OK. Fine. See, I need a knife. All right, all right. I okay, find we'll that's good. You got it. Yeah, take those. All right. Salad. This is a chipotle chili. It's a jalapeno pepper that's been smoked and dried. Have you ever tasted these? Um, chipotle, Smell that yeah. smoky. Mm. Fabulous, right? Yeah, kind of bacony. Yeah. Exactly. I think for people that are vegetarians, yeah, like a they, bacon they eat kind of chipotle thing. and it makes them think they're eating meat. Well, not eating meat, but, you know, smoking. Yeah. So we have that. Avocado. Mm -hmm. Avocado's Avocado. going in there. Corn nuts. Corn nuts. Like corn nuts, corn nuts? Like corn nuts, corn nuts. Ooh. And you just put them in a bag, chop, pound them with a rolling pin. And then a tangerine vinaigrette. Shake that up a little, will you? Like, do this. Well, here you I'll do it. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is tangerine, olive oil, salt and pepper. Chop cilantro. Oh yes. Give me a little salt and pepper. Good. Oh, good. Wow. Like you pepper. must do that. Okay, salt. Okay, let's go. All right. You got that? Mix that around. Mm-hmm. All right. Now let's move on. To, okay, you'll eat that later, will you? <laughs> okay. Now we're moving on to a turkey. What? Turkey of. You really <laughs> Turkey al bundiga soup. Meatballs, right? Love meatballs. All right. We made, I made a little bit of pesto. Add that in there. This okay. is with cilantro and olive oil and garlic. I'm going to take a little bit of egg. Say garlic again. Garlic. <laughs> I like the way you say garlic. Breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah. Okay, mix that around. Mix that around. And we're going to make a meatball. Gosh, okay? you got me. Okay. You mix it. I'm starting the soup. Carrots. Oh, don't go so slow. Carrots, a little bit of leeks, a little bit of chilies go in there, a tiny bit of tomato oh, yeah. go in, a little bit of salt. Now shape those into a meatball for me, will you? Right. What size That's, meatball? Look at I did all these before for you. Look, yeah, I did all those into that pan that we just got good and cold. And there, yeah, how great. This is like a 20 minute meatball I'm making <laughs> over here. We're gonna cook my one meatball. There we go. Now, the pan, ideally, you want to have it to be, oh, my God. Here, Give here. me a hug, Susan. <laughs> so we're making a chicken soup. Carrots, onions, leeks, cabbage. Mm -hmm. Throw me a little cabbage in there, will you? We're going to add a little bit of chicken stock in uh -huh. there. I, <laughs> I worked all morning on the meatballs. Add that, bring it to a boil. Mm -hmm. You brown your meatballs here. We'll see the pan. The pan's not browning it very much. Now, Look how, at how, how messy do you usually you want to? This I, is you walk me into this. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is a setup. How, how often? How hot do you want? The I pan want them to get, get really those? good and golden brown. Mm -hmm. Once they're golden brown, I take these meatballs and I'm just gonna put them into the hot stock. Like, see here, I have. I've been working all day on that. Oh wow! Into this, it and I want so you good. to taste this. I finish it with a little bit of vinegar. So it's basically a chicken soup. Be careful! Don't burn yourself. Chicken soup with cilantro meatballs and vinegar. What do you think? I think I need a bigger spoon. A bigger spoon. <laughs> <Do you, yeah. laughs>
There you See, go. This here. is where I'm talking about. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> Wait till you taste that beet salad too. Now you're gonna send me back to the beet salad yeah, that okay. I wanted to you eat already. Eat. Okay, Chef, eat your meatball. Chef Susan, how do you how do you decide what to put on the menu in your restaurant? You know, at the restaurant, it's always about what season is. Like, right? You know, this is just perfect, right? What mm -hmm. season? If it's cold, I want something warm. If it's hot, I want something nice and light, like that. that it is all delicious. depends. If it's the holidays mm. or whatever. And I like that. That's why I keep coming back, because everything is so fresh. You are so cool. Thank you. She has the best recipes and the best restaurants, so please support and check them out. And for this delicious recipe, which is very delicious, go to my website, queenlatifa.com, and find out how you can make this happen in your kitchen.